today there's obviously something different about me. I flat ironed my hair and it turned out so much better than I thought it was going to. Um, my hair has never looked like this like in my life. It has never been like this like flowy or like silky or anything like that. And I think it has a lot to do with how healthy my hair is now. Um, but yes, so this is the back of my hair. And geez. But anyways, this is gonna be kind of a long video because I'm gonna take you through the entire process of me um, from washing my hair all the way to flattering my hair. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Remember to give it a thumbs up if you do and subscribe to my channel and let's just get right into it. So before I get in the shower, I'm going to um, section my hair off into four sections and this is just gonna make it easier to handle. Um, this was my hair in a four day old Bantu knot out. So in the shower, I'm just going to go section by section and I'm just gonna rinse my hair into the water and detangle it a little bit and then use my Shea Moisture something something. I'll put it in the description box below. And just make sure my scalp is clean. You want your hair to be as clean as possible because um, you don't want your hair weighed down by any products when it's flattering or it's just not gonna turn out as well. So I'm just making sure my scalp and my hair get nice and clean. So next I'm just going to take my Aussie Moist Conditioner and saturate that throughout my entire hair. Detangle my hair. You want your hair to be nice and detangled um, if you're straightening it just because it's going to make it a lot easier. And I just am using a paddle brush to detangle because I feel like it's the easiest thing to use. Then I did put deep conditioner in my hair but I lost the footage. So I just deep condition, put deep conditioner in my hair and I'm gonna twist it up and put a clip on it. And I did that to all four sections of my hair. So it's covered in deep conditioner. I'm just going to tie a bag on it and deep condition it for about 30 minutes to help with um, the deep condition because moisturized hair is the key to not get heat damage. I'm gonna go ahead and use my soft, um, hair dryer thingy majig, just, it's just a hair dryer thing, to um, help with the deep conditioning of my hair. And I sat under that for about, about 20 minutes, about 20 to 30 minutes. So I went and I rinsed that off and before I blow dry, I am just covering my hair in aloe vera juice um, because it is what I use as my leave-in moisturizer. So I'm just making sure to saturate my hair in that um, and again detangle because you want your hair to be um, nice and straight. So I'm just going to do that on all of the sections of my hair. It's just completely saturated in aloe vera. And then I also added the chai, um, the chi, silky straight stuff at this point too. Yeah. So that is a heat protectant and it's what helped turn my hair all silky and flowy and all that good stuff. And I did the aloe vera juice and the chi um, silk stuff on each section and I twisted it back up. And so for blow drying, I'm just doing the tension method and I'm gonna do that um, until it's about 80% dry. Then I take my paddle brush and just drag it like that um, until it's completely dry. A good flat iron always starts with a good blow dry, as they say. And I just did that for every single section of my hair um, until it was completely dry. So I actually went to bed because my arms were tired. Um, so you'll see I actually, I actually braided up each section of my hair, so this is the next morning and I had added more um, chai silk heat protectant um, before I went to bed. So I'm just going to comb out each section and I'm going to take small sections to flat iron. Love, 
So if I actually used a brush to chase with instead of using a tiny comb um, at first, and then I ended up using both. I just go over my roots a few times and then go over the rest of my hair um, about two times. I didn't really count or pay attention. I just did it until it was straight. Um, but I did make sure not to go over more than two times. And this is when it was halfway done. And so here I started only going over it twice. So the first time I chased using the comb, the rat tail comb. And then the second time I did the chasing method using the brush. And I feel like these gave me the best results. Please excuse me stuffing crackers into my face. I was very, very hungry when I was filming this, but I was also trying to get my hair done because this did take me um, about a day and a half to do between washing, blow drying. Um, so yeah, this is how it turned out, man. Look at it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! My sexy bad girl, eh. My sexy bad girl, eh. You try this go. Yeah. Say bad girl, make you give it to me. The way that you move and the things you do. Say bad girl, make you move it for me. Pan it to the left and pan it to the right.